six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have another video and this time it's about PLAs and these PLAs that we have from Microse are Super PLAs which is uh, the same naming for Hyper PLA that some companies are also using so why do we need Hyper PLA or Super PLAs? It's because these PLA forms are being able to print faster with the same quality output that you can get from these super fast printers that we have from Bamboo and Creality and some other brands like FL Sun that they came up they are coming up with really fast printers so now the new trend is to have really fast printers and that's why these Hyper and Super PLAs are really exciting to have. So we got these from Microse, which is the biggest filament company in whole Turkey. So they have sent us three examples. One of them is SPLA and it's pink color. And the other one is SPLA, which is khaki green. We have these. We have already opened our purple one. We have done some testing on it and we're going to do some more testings on it to determine those are really faster than a regular basic PLA. Is it going to keep up the quality line that you get from the basic PLAs in a faster speed form? So what's also really exciting about this Microse company is that they have a really competitive pricing. I think it's one of the cheapest filaments that I've used before. I will have to say I only tried out there PLAs. They have different lineups like PSG and EBS and I didn't really print with them so I can't really talk to that uh, lineup. So keep in mind that I'm only talking about the Super PLA and the normal PLA that they offer. So anyways guys we're going to test this now and on our Bamboo A1 that whether this filament is really fast and keeping up the qualities that we are used to. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So now here we are trying out the Speed Racer SCL file which will print as fast as possible and we have tweaked the printer to a faster speeds so 400 millimeters per second where the, it was 250 so as you guys can see it's printing really fast we also bumped up the, the temperatures to 230 so that the filament does get some uh, push up to extrude faster seeing that the A1 extruder is not that powerful as the X1 carbon is but we are doing our tests on the A1 today. So we have seen that it's extruding really well at the moment. We are going to bump up the speed to a sport mode. And we're gonna let it do its thing for a while now. We are using the external spool holder to do this test just to make sure that the AMS doesn't interfere with anything like the speed or whatever. So far it's good. Now we are going to bump it up to 166% ludicrous mode. So it will most likely not print good anymore because I think this is like the limitation, the sport mode for 400. So it's about now 500 millimeters per second or 500 and something millimeters per second printing. So this is really fast for a Bamboo A1 printer. Yeah. So we put it back to sport mode. Let's put it in standard mode. And we're going to test the filament now to check what happened to the filament and how good it has been printing. Stop. We stop the print now. As you guys can see, there is some 
deviation on the print. So here in the beginning it was doing really well and when we went to ludicrous mode it went a bit berserk but that's because the limitations were overdue so as you guys can see here I'm trying to focus better for you it's been printing really well so yeah this filament does print really fast and we're going to test the same speeds on a regular filament we're going to try it on the bamboo basic filament to determine whether it's this filament is going faster or not so now we're trying out the bamboos basic PLA and on the normal speed as you guys can see on 400 millimeters per second it's doing fine for now we'll just wait a bit Now we're going to bump the speed up to sport mode. And still it's keeping up. just wait a bit and then we're gonna bump it up to ludicrous mode there where normally it should start skipping the extruder we'll see if it's gonna do it Right now, ludicrous mode. Yeah, the, the extruder is starting to skip. Yeah, we can hear it's going really bad. And we have to stop the print so yeah the difference is that the faster you go both of the filaments started doing some well imperfections you can see on top of here but i think if your printer can keep up the speeds that you are better off with the hyper or super pla of well of micro Z has super pla and it is better it doesn't make your extruder skip but then again if the pricing of the of the super pla is much more then get basic pla but if it's the same or even cheaper on the super pla then definitely get the super pla because it's really a nice product and the, the combination the setup of it is really much better than the regular pla so we can see here that it did it's also like really neat print with the bamboos uh, filament that's for sure but you guys can see here uh, it started deforming and everything under ludicrous mode so yeah but both of them you can see that this has also did the same thing checking out the quality the only difference was that the uh, bamboos basic PLA started the extruder started skipping where the, the micro Zay's super PLA didn't do that so on speeds on some prints it's probably going to be better on the super PLA 
or in any sense hyper PLA on uh, different brands is going to be better than the basic PLA of course but some brands do sell the super or hyper PLA for a more expensive price where the micros as far as I can see they're selling it for uh, at the moment cheaper and it will be become the main selling uh, PLA so it's going to be super uh, PLA is going to be the mainstream so it's going to be the same price as a basic PLA and that's why I think get the super PLA instead of the basic one because the basic one will just limit your print speeds especially if you're printing with a printing like a bamboo a1 mini or a1 uh, or a bamboo x1 carbon or any printer that is uh, has more than four five hundred millimeters per second print speed I think you're better off with a super or hyper PLA I will also show you guys what I designed and printed with it so I have printed this model which I designed it it's a cat toy but they all they already been playing with it where you put in a bowl here and it turns around but this is also printed with the uh, super PLA from Microse. well as you guys can see here it's shinier on the bottom where the temperature was a bit higher I think it was 230 here and then I went to 220 here and as you guys can also really if you look carefully the surface is really nice it's really smooth where it has been printing flawless on this PLA uh, on this super PLA this print I did a better print on it first it came out in 11 hours and this with uh, super PLA I printed it in nine and a half hours so yes it did bump up the speeds and kept a really nice surface but also you have to make sure that your printer can actually print that flawless because just the super PLA won't do any wonders for you if your printer is not capable of printing really nice you have to check where the bottleneck is in my case there are no bottleneck PLA that I've used uh, it was really nice quality and also the printers were also on par so of course it's going to give, give out like really nice uh, end product to you and really nice quality prints so anyways guys I hope you liked this video I hope it was informative and if you want to buy your own Microse Super PLAs from their website the link is in the description below so you just go there and buy off their website really nice pricing and quality output Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!